Is running a front mount snowblower on your tractor a waste of money? And would you be better off just buying a rear mount? Today's video, we're gonna talk about that. Stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Mindful Homestead on a beautiful, warm, what feels like spring day. I would guess like 37. It, it feels like it might be pushing even 40 degrees. Ducks are out, chickens are out. Everyone is enjoying this beautiful weather. And I'm gonna go check those maple taps that we set out the other day. With these warm temps, sap should be running. Each of the buckets does have some sap in it, which is awesome. Means we're running here. I need to get working on our new maple syrup evaporator that we're making out of a barrel. But before I do that, I wanted to talk a little bit about front mount snowblowers versus rear mount snowblowers. I get a lot of questions on the channel asking why we went with a front mount snowblower for our tractor instead of a rear mount. And there's a lot of positives and negatives to each and it wasn't necessarily an easy decision us being new to tractors when we bought our bx i had some guidance from our sales guy i talked to a couple people i knew who had front mount blowers versus rear mount blowers and in the end we decided to go with a front mount blower for us i know there are other people out there that are probably in a similar situation to what we were in so i wanted to put together a video that went over the benefits and negatives of each you know the front mount and the rear mount and maybe could help you make a decision uh, for your own situation, your own homestead, your own small farm or piece of land or whatever you've got. So let's head over to the tractor and start talking about it. The two main types of snow blowers that you're gonna run into for small tractors are front mounts and rear mounts, also known as three-point mounts. There are some situations where front mounts are gonna be better and there are some situations where rear mounts are gonna be better. So first let's talk a little bit about the benefits of each and then we'll come back and look at the cons and maybe why you would choose one over another. A rear mount or three-point snowblower is exactly what it sounds like. It's a snowblower that's gonna mount to the rear three-point hitch on your tractor. There are two main designs of three-point snowblowers that'll mount to the back of your tractor. One is going to be your pull type, where the entire apparatus actually sits a little bit further out and you drive the tractor forward and it shoots the snow out to either side and essentially is like a big scoop behind the tractor with the snowblower. The second and most common found version is going to be your standard rear facing snowblower uh, and that is going to be something where you need to back up down your driveway or sidewalk or whatever you're clearing and it's essentially a scoop that faces this way and the tractor has to go backwards for the purposes of this video i'm going to be referring mainly to the latter version the kind that where you have to drive backwards because they're the most common that you're gonna find. The pull types are a little bit less common. They tend to be a little bit more expensive when you do find them. And honestly, I haven't seen one for sale around here where I live in a while. So for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna talk the more common side of things. That said, the pull type rear snowblowers are pretty cool and in many applications can negate the positives and negatives of both the standard rear and front mount they're kind of a jack of all trades there are different sizes of these snow blowers and different sizes of your rear three-point hitches so if you do buy one of these you want to make sure that it's going to mount up to the hitch that you have on your the rear of your tractor whether it's a category one category two or category three and almost without fail they're going to be powered by your rear pto on the tractor which is going to drive that implement so for something like this the horsepower of your tractor definitely needs to be sized to the horsepower of the implement uh, as well as the size of your three-point hitch, whatever type you have. That said, as long as you make sure that they're sized to your three-point hitch and then the horsepower of your tractor, they're fairly universal. They're also relatively easy to come by. I can go on Craigslist right now and find any of six or seven within maybe an hour's drive of me that are for sale, all of which would work on the back of my tractor. Now, they're going to vary in price from about a 1000 bucks up to $2,000, uh, depending on the particular unit, what kind of shape it's in. By and large, these are going to be your most inexpensive, quickest, and easiest option to get a snowblower on your tractor if that's what you're looking to do. 
Then you've got your front mount snowblowers, which is where things start to get a little bit interesting. You're gonna have two main variants here. You're gonna have snowblowers that attach with a skid steer quick attach. These snowblowers are designed for skid steers like the name implies, but on larger tractors that have a greater lifting capacity in the front, you can also run these skid steer quick attach snowblowers on those larger tractors if they have a skid steer quick attach on their loader. Now there are gonna be exceptions to the rule and I'm not sure if any exists, so I'm not gonna even go down that path and say there are or aren't, but by and large, all of your skid steer quick attach snowblowers are gonna be run hydraulically. So again, in making sure that your tractor has the ability to lift a skid steer quick attach snowblower, you also need to make sure that your tractor has front remotes that are gonna have enough hydraulic flow to run that snowblower. A hydraulically driven snowblower is a hydraulic fluid hog, if you will. It needs a lot of flow to keep things going smoothly. So if you're gonna look at a skid steer quick attach front snowblower, you wanna make sure that your tractor is gonna have enough oomph and enough hydraulic flow to push that snowblower and make it work effectively for you. So that's the universal side of front mount snowblowers. On the non-universal side are gonna be snowblowers that hook up to a dedicated quick hitch in the front of the tractor. Uh, with our Kubota BX here, we have what Kubota calls their K-Connect quick hitch system, which is a four point front hitch and it utilizes some locking pins to lock this thing in. There's a bunch of different implements out there that can go with this K-Connect from brooms to snow blowers like this, a bunch of different versions to snow blades like plow blades. These are not gonna be universal in that there are many different variants of attaching snow blowers to quick hitches. There are many different quick hitches out there. If you're going to be buying a used front mount snow blower, you need to make sure that there are going to be ways to relatively easily attach it to the front of your tractor. Uh, there are horror stories out there. I can think of one viewer actually of the channel that had a bear of a time recently getting a used snow or black that they bought hooked up to the front of their tractor because it was all kind of wishy-washy and hard to find out what pieces exactly were needed here to connect the snowblower to it. Most of these quick hitch snowblowers are gonna run off a mid-mount PTO. Again, the larger tractors that don't have a mid-mount PTO, uh, they're either gonna run hydraulically or they're gonna run some interesting conversion kits that actually take the rear PTO and redirect it via drive shaft up to the front so they have a front PTO. But by and large, most of these smaller to mid-sized tractors are gonna have a mid-mount PTO, which is gonna power this front snowblower. Your hydraulic systems on a smaller tractor like this are mainly gonna be used to raise and lower the snowblower, and then also operate the chute direction of where you're shooting the snow. Some tractors with a third function kit will also have a hydraulic uh, chute angle kit where they can de decide how far they're gonna throw that snow. The snowblower that we're running here is a Kubota BX2822. It's a 55 inch commercial model. It's designed to be used by towns, cities, municipalities, pretty much anybody that needs a really rugged snowblower. We wanted something that was really gonna be able to stand up to the abuse of taking care of our 800 foot dirt and gravel driveway versus some of the more consumer oriented models that were made for smaller driveways in suburban areas where maybe they were operating on pavement and you know very tightly packed asphalt millings and things like that. We've talked about this thing a lot in previous videos. I'll link videos down in the description and up in the corner of this video, where if you're interested in learning more about it, you can check those out and see what this thing's all about. So why might you go with a rear mount? Well, for one, the price on these things is way better. Like I mentioned, you can find rear mount snowblowers around a thousand bucks on the used market. Really good looking examples at used equipment dealers, they might go for $2,500, but still you're talking about getting something that is gonna be way less expensive and way less complicated than a front mount. On the front mount, you're looking at the cost of the snowblower itself, but you're also looking at the apparatus that you're gonna to need to attach it, whether it's a quick hitch, whether it's a PTO adapter to run a shaft up to the front, you're looking at just way less cost involved. In addition to that, you're looking at something that in the future is going to be easier to sell. If you decide to move on to another tractor or you don't need your tractor anymore, or you buy a bigger tractor and you need a bigger snowblower, these rear mount PTO snowblowers are gonna be way easier to sell because they're more adaptable and they go on a bunch of different types of tractors. Whereas your front mount, 
it's got to go to a specific tractor owner. They have to have a certain model that matches up what you've got. Another benefit to running a rear or PTO mount snowblower is that it allows you the ability to run another implement on the front of your tractor, whether it's a loader bucket, whether it's a plow blade. If you live in an area where you've got to push back snow banks or there's areas where you just won't be able to get to with a snowblower, having a plow blade or a bucket on the front of the tractor can really be helpful to you. And a rear mount lets you do that. So what about a front mount? Why would you go with something like that if it's gonna be more expensive and harder to sell? And really there's only one reason and that is it's way more comfortable to use this on a job that's much bigger. I mean, you can see our driveway behind me. I think you can. It's long, it's not easy to navigate. It's a real pain in the butt to snow blow and having a front mount snow blower like we've got, it makes the job much easier to do it makes it much more enjoyable i'm not having to crane around in the seat uh, let's go just take a look at how you can sit when you're using these things all right so here i am i'm sitting on my tractor i'm getting ready to snow blow and do all the things that i need to do for snow removal if i have a front mount snow blower this is my seating position and for all 800 feet of our driveway that is kind of twisty turny and and moves about and meanders this is the position I'm in. If I need to look left, if I need to look right, I can do that. If I am using a rear mount snowblower, this is the seating position that I now need to assume. As you can see, my spine is twisted. I'm hunched over in the seat. I need to find a way to hit this pedal in reverse. And actually, if I'm being completely honest with you right now in this position, I can't hit, I can't hit the treadle pedal to go backwards. So really, this is the position I need to be in. I need to be cocked over to the right so I can get my foot on the pedal over here, back up and navigate things this way. And I'm not trying to be melodramatic, but I am gonna say with all honesty that this position is not very comfortable to be even just shooting this video. And if I had to be in this position for all the way down the driveway and all the way back up and clearing this whole apron area, my neck's gonna be bothering me pretty good, especially the next morning. Another thing that you have to consider with a front mount snowblower is that for new tractor owners like us, it was a lot more natural to have the seating position with the steering wheel in front of you and the snowblower in front of you and to be able to see where you were going in the area that you needed to clear of snow. We didn't feel we were giving up too much in terms of versatility because we could still run a greater blade on the back, a box blade. There are other implements out there that you can put on the back of your tractor that will help if you need to do some additional snow clearing beyond what the snowblower can do up front. It also helps having the snowblower up front when you need to get into really tight quarters. If you're going up against a garage door or in between a couple cars, you have everything out in front of you and it's very easy to be seen where if you've got the snowblower in the back, there's gonna be areas that you can't see. If you've got a loader on the front of your tractor and you turn the wheel to turn the snowblower, you've now gotta worry about that loader swinging out in front of you. It, for a newer tractor owner, it's not as user friendly. So which type of snowblower should you get? Here are my loosely interpreted, not worth anything thoughts on the matter, because really it all comes down to you. But here's what I think. If the idea of being hunched around in your seat and having your neck crane behind you while navigating your area that you need to clear of snow doesn't sound appealing, save your pennies and try to buy a front mount snowblower. It makes life way easier when it comes to being on the tractor for an extended period of time and clearing the snow that you need to clear. If you live in a rural setting or the area of, of road or pathway that you're clearing is relatively long or it makes turns or you just don't want to be cocked around in the seat like that the front mount snowblower is a hundred percent worth it i've talked to people that have switched from rear to front and i haven't met anybody that has said oh i wish i had the rear again it, moving to a front snowblower is a game changer for most people that said, if the area that you live in and you're going to be clearing snow is relatively flat, relatively open, and can be done quickly, uh, a rear mount snowblower is a great option. You can find them inexpensively and you still have the bucket on the front of your tractor or a plow blade on the front of your tractor to do any additional snow clearing work that you need to do. You're not limited to just having a snowblower on there really at the time.
And if you're dead set on having a snowblower on your tractor and money is an issue, you can learn to love the rear mount. There are plenty of guys out there that have rear mounts and have used them for years and have had no issues. If you ever do decide to go front mount in the future, you'll be able to sell that rear mount snowblower virtually instantly. I know around here, as quick as they pop up on Craigslist, they, they sell. And you'll be able to move up to that front mount snowblower in the future if that's what you really want to. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll answer them as best I can. I'm not an expert on the issue. These are just my thoughts on the matter. But if you wanna know more about our experiences and what we've learned in the years that we've had this tractor, I'm glad to share any of that knowledge with anybody that wants to hear it. As always, thanks for watching folks and have a great day. Bye.